Hi. I've done a tutorial today um, on this look that I'm wearing. I will show it to you. Looks like this. And I've spent the whole week pretty much at my sister's house because she has two kids and they're both crazy. So um, I went over there to help her with them. And I was mostly taking care of the littler one, the baby. He's two months. And since he's two months, he's kind of reddish, but his skin is yellow, so he kind of is like this like cute peachy color that looks all cute because he's a baby. And she had him in this little green onesie thing, so I did a tutorial, <laughs> um, pretty much based on that. And um, but now that I'm done with it, it, kind of makes me think of peaches, like you know the lid is like the peach part and the green is like the leaves part or whatever. So. Babies and peaches. Baby peaches. So, and here's today's palette. So those are the greens that I use, and those are the corally peaches, eyeliners, uh, lid colors, um, blush, and lip gloss. Yes, I'm using a fry as a pointer. <laughs> so, um, if you want to see how I did this look, then keep on watching. So the first color that I'm going to take is this one, it's really yellow based um, green. I then I used this one, which is a bit, well, a lot more yellow, and then I'm going to take this darkest green, which is in the more yellow column as opposed to like this bluer one. And those are going to be my crease colors. So I'm going to take that first green on a fluffy brush like this and top off the excess. And start applying that in my crease. It kind of takes a while to build up just because I don't like to put a ton of product on my brush. So that because these colors are matte, they might get a little like splotchy and a little hard to blend. So it's better to be safe than sorry. For this look, I'm not, as you can see, with the crease color going very much on um, the non-crease lid area, so yeah. it's just a note. And then I'm going to take the really yellow one on the same brush, just gently go over the top of that just to give it a little bit more yellow. Then I'm going to take that darker green on a brush like this, just a little, like, rounded crease brush. Tap off the excess, and then I'm going to start by patting it in the outer corner, just so I don't end up with too much concentrated somewhere I don't want it. And then once I get some built up, I'm going to start pulling it inward. I'm going to kind of um, lessen the pressure on this inner part just so it tapers a little bit. doesn't just look like weird. It looks more like that. Now I'm just going to go back with that other brush, with the, my, the first blending brush and the first green that I used, and just blend the edges of that so it doesn't look so gross and separated. I'm going to take these two colors, this one and this one right under it. I kind of like orangey peach and then like a deeper, a lot deeper version of that same color. So I'm gonna take that and brush that downwards on the outer portion of my lid. On the other eye, I just patted it into on top of the green, and this eye, I'm just like very gently, I'm barely touching my skin just so that they are kind of overlapped rather than blended, um, so that they don't look funky. Then I'm going to take the darker color on the other side of the brush and do kind of the same thing 
And I'm gonna make sure to really stick to this outer portion first, and then if I need to, blend it inwards. But I tend to put it too much in the center of my eye rather than over here, so I'm going to acknowledge that and start working outwards before inwards. So um, these colors are kind of mm, like powdery I suppose, they don't really stick to my skin very well, but I didn't know that before I used it because um, I had never used those colors before. I didn't know that on this side. I just added a bit of this color, which is pretty much the same color as that other one. It might be a little bit lighter, but I took that on that same little brush and basically placed it in the same place. I just wanted more of this color show up than what was. Then next I'm going to take this color. It's kind of like... I don't know, it's really pretty. It's kind of like a rose goldish color. I got the wrong brush. And a flat shader brush. I'm going to place this on the inner half of my lid, or probably like the inner two thirds of my or a lot of my inner lid color. Place, uh, what are words? What is English? Alright, and then I'm going to take. Sorry, I'm going to take this uh, gold color. It's kind of, um, it's almost like translucent, and then you're just going to get a golden sheen to it, wherever you put it, and I'm just going to put that under, I don't know if you can see that, I'm kind of really white right now. You can see that it's not so much a opaque color, it's kind of just a reflex color, Do I don't know, <laughs> that's what it looks like. And I'm going to take a little bit more and, wait, before that I'm going to put a white eyeliner just right here. I'm going to put it in the inner corner, I'm just going to put it right here where I want it to show up. So then I'm going to take that gold and just, <coughs> oh my Jesus, Mary and Jojo. I'm also going to take it a little tiny bit on the inner corner and kind of pull it up through here. Then, with the crease brush that I used the green with, I'm going to take a little bit more of that darkest green. So on the very tip, tap off the excess. I'm going to connect the upper crease work with the lower lash line. Blend it into the cold. Gold. I'm going to go in with a different brush in the same color. And press that right against the lashes. About halfway through. And as you can see on this side, the green is a lot more intense in the outer corner, so I'm going to start to do that. I'm going to pat it in the I'm going to pat it just so that the color is really bright, vibrant and I'm not blending away any of the color. Okay, then I'm going to go in with the white eyeliner again and I'm just going to line my waterline with that. Then I am going to do my liquid liner, I think. Yeah. So I'm just using one with the brush tip. So um, I'm going to do my mascara and then after I do that, I am going to be back to show you what I'm going to use on the rest of my face. Uh, I forgot a step actually. Um, on this, the eye, the tutorial eye, obviously. Um, I took, you can use a smaller brush than this, but I just figured I would use this one and the um, acidy green color, the one that's super yellow, and I just ran over the edge of that um, lower lash line. Let me zoom in so you can see what that looks like. Ooh, that was kind of long. So that, you get that. I'm going to use uh, this brush because I haven't used it in a really long time. 
so I figured why not. I'm gonna go for this blush. It has a bit of shimmer to it. It's like a peach color. I might add a bit of this kind of like more orangey one. Well, we shall see. Normally I stay more on the backs of my cheeks for blush. I'm gonna just put a little bit more on the apples than I normally do. And then I decided against my non-contouring decision. <laughs> I'm just going to contour a little bit, the way that I always contour. So my skin looks really shiny on camera. Um, probably because the blushes, blush that I use was shimmery and my foundation just looks really um, dewy today, so I'm going to skip that. <sighs> I always have trouble doing my lips. I never... <laughs> never end up liking the first lip choice that I use unless the lip choice was the purpose of the thing, but you know, that never happens. So I'm gonna try this, um, kind of like a peach blush, blush, what is, what is this lip gloss? It's called Apricot. And I'm pretty sure that is it for this look. So I hope you enjoyed it, and thanks for watching.